Absolutely killing it. All right, guys, it's good to be back with you. We're back at the cabin, and, you know, it's just so nice out here. It's so nice just relaxing in the Adirondacks. And, uh, you know, like I said, we had a lot of rain and things, and so we got to actually just chill at the cabin. So I want to answer a few of the comments from the last video in the, with the cabin. And, uh, you know, a couple of ones were like lazy moose says that he's digging the cabin and uh lucky no swinging crutches that's pretty true and missy has a good sense of humor and she thought it was funny that i played a prank on her if you haven't seen that video go go check it out um i pull a little prank on her at the end of the video so john high says heck yeah let's see the inside so i'm going to show you the inside a little later um i love this 70s style fireplace it, it's just this is the most fun outdoor fireplace I've ever used. Um, you know, uh, Steve Salem said, poor Missy, I had the Achilles tear and surgery December of 16, 12 weeks in that boot on the right foot. Brutal. Yeah, it's definitely brutal. Um, Missy couldn't even pick up Axel for, for weeks. And uh, she couldn't get off the couch for at least a week, maybe two weeks. It was it was pretty crazy. Um, she could she couldn't drive either. He said he tried to drive, and uh, you can't fit the boot. Yeah. So anyway, she's uh, she's almost back to a hundred percent. You know, maybe like seventy five percent, and she's walking without the boot now. So that's awesome. Um, let's see, Don Milligan. What's up, Don? We, uh, he says, awesome stuff, Joe. Great to see Missy, and thanks for showing us around the cabin property. That outhouse was really cool. Love how the plastic was repurposed. Great looking car. Really like the solar setup. Looking forward to the next video. Yeah, I'm going to show that solar setup more in another video. And also, the, the barrels, recycling the barrels is just the smartest thing, definitely. And it's all according to the the materials you could find you know i would build a cabin out of pallet wood if i had a million pallets sitting around um just you know whatever you can be creative with and find that's suitable for the purpose right um let's see the open air garage toag what's up man says wow this is a good way to use products that probably would wind up clogging the landfills or littering the land. Super creative. I agree. It's definitely a good thing to use this kind of recycled materials. Joe's Neon. So, what's up, Joe? I got to get back up and see Joe's Neon sometime soon. Uh, Joe says, awesome, buddy. Next, nice to see where you guys were. Yeah, I stopped by Joe's Neon on the way back from this trip. So... Yeah, he was he was getting to hear about it a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely uh, it was good seeing you, and I'm gonna see you again soon, man. Um, John Thayer says I never knew you could use those barrels for siding. Nice place, Joe. Your boy is adorable too. Thanks, man. Uh, best years ahead for sure. Take care and have fun. Thanks a lot, John. Okay, got no pro go pronto known this guy for a while yes 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 of course um i want to see the interior of the cabin and any of the other buildings so i'm getting to some of the interior a little bit later uh i'm gonna wrap it up here i think uh one more john lord said if all those barrels are food grade and clean you could make excellent pickle pickle and pickled vegetable business yeah somebody could do that definitely i you know i just don't live out there so it's uh I live in the city and I don't have any room to pickle stuff in the city, but if I lived out there, I'd definitely be pickling and canning and putting away food and, you know, not that I don't have a stash in the city of supplies, but, you know, if I was out there, I'd have more space to work with. 
Um, yeah, and I also love kimchi. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on from the comments. We got some other comments on the uh, boosted board electric skateboard videos. You guys check those out, and I'll try to get to the comments a little more often. A nomadic journey, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, just stay tuned. We're gonna have a lot more crazy stuff on the way. So we do have some stickers, new Joe Explores stickers with a new logo in the the shop, joeexplores.com or wildernessrocks.com. Um, we also have overnight trips scheduled, and uh, I'm going to be getting out for some bushcrafting adventures and recording that for you guys, so stay tuned. Uh, the hot tent videos are going to start up pretty soon. I'm going to bring the old hot tent back out, and I'm working on some new some new setup, so. Mm. So that was really nice. And I learned some new things about people in this area who like, made a difference, you know, who are founding the fathers of the Adirondacks. Yeah. And that's pretty cool. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so when we're here, we do all of our cooking outside and most of our relaxing outdoors under this area, this sheltered area. Um, the fireplace for the inside is built into this block box there on the right. This is the kitchen. That's the view from the kitchen. There's my coffee. I make it the same way at home as I do on the, on the trail. Uh, I use this same exact coffee filter holder a link in the description from Amazon below. Um, we do all the cooking on that grill. And here's the inside of the cabin. So super tiny, super efficient. We have a stove just in case the weather's bad in the winter. You can use that one. And uh, yeah, the stove is tucked into its own box there. So there's no uh, space taken out of the room. And you know, now we don't need the stove. So we can just put the Axel's bed there. Actually, Axel's outgrown this bed already, and he has a big boy bed. Um, so we're excited about that. Um, yeah, but this is the inside. It's very tiny. The camera kind of makes it look a little bigger than it is. But yeah, that's just space for the bed. Barely enough room to walk between. And uh, view out the window. We have some hummingbirds coming up and eating. There is one house battery and a solar panel that just keeps the lights going. That's it in here. And uh, yeah, the uh, outhouse is up the hill and the shower house is down the hill. And yeah, this the, that's the interior. This is kind of uh, maybe art projects going on, breakfast time, those types of things here. And yeah, we just uh, we enjoy this space when we're here. And uh, it's one of the places we really love to to go so there's the uh the old solar panel on the car it's holding together just fine and the uh, cargo box is great for backpacking trips like and for trips like this where we need extra equipment like the the baby bed and all that so the solar power's running fine and it's working it's keeping us charged up and all of our devices out here charging you know it's uh some I've had some concern about the rack and the luggage box taking away from our uh, ability to charge, but we don't really have any problem with that. And like you can see, we just charge up a lot of USB things, and we don't need the power for much else. Once I do pick up an inverter and get it hooked up, then I will be powering a fridge, but I also need to buy the fridge to put there. For now, we just use the uh, cooler and ice, and we don't even use that much um, just when we really need it for for whatever types of food we're we're having at the time. OK, if you guys have any questions, leave the comments down below. Hey, there's my uh, second battery. There are the other batteries on the other side buried under there. So I have two batteries in the back of the Prius. So that keeps us all charged up. Give us a shout on Instagram. You know, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. 
um, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And yeah, leave us a big thumbs up if you're with it. Bye-bye.